Hey guys, so in today's book review video I'm going to be talking about Daisy Darker by Alice Feenly. <laughs> um, but yeah, I picked, I picked up this book, I think I got it from Tesco actually when it was first released, and I picked it up because I saw it doing the rounds on Instagram, so I knew it was a fairly popular book, I didn't know anything about it. Um, I actually thought it was going to be a kind of crime thriller, which... I guess it kind of was but not really um but yeah I'd seen quite a few positive reviews like on the front it says cleverly compelling wonderfully original um unpredictable and amazing so yeah I'd just seen a few people talking about it a lot of people doing pictures with it that they had picked it up and I was like Do you know what I'll give it a go and I'm really glad that I did because this book actually surprised me um like I said, I don't always have super high expectations. When I see a book is super popular, it's normally because it's in a new release or, you know, crime thrillers often, often um, get on like bestseller lists and stuff like that. So I just thought it was going to be one of those kind of crime thrillers. Um, so yeah, I kind of just grabbed it, didn't think too much about it, got home, read the back and was like, oh, this does actually sound like it's going to be quite interesting because on the back it says Daisy Darker is arriving at her grandmother's house for her 80th birthday. It is Halloween at Seaglass, a crumbling Cornish house perched upon its own tiny private island. Um, it is only it is only with the uh, granite rocks, if it is only for the granite rocks that it sits on. And yeah, so I was like, oh, this is going to be in an isolated location, in a house. This is going to be like really creepy, kind of atmospheric. And yeah, I think I was just thrown off by the title because the title, not the title, the front cover for some reason just wasn't giving horror creepy house vibes. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have thought it was that kind of book from the front cover, which I guess it shows you, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But yeah, I think that's why I had like kind of meh feelings about when I first picked it up. But after I read the back, I was like, okay, actually that does sound something that I would really like. Isolated location, it's set on Halloween, really creepy. Um, yeah, so I was into it. And the beginning half intrigued me. I enjoyed the writing style. Um, you're following obviously Daisy and she's writing to you as if she's telling you the story. Um, almost like it's kind of diary entries but it's not diary entries. Um, it kind of flicks back and forth between her talking to you and then you know her interacting with other people. So she goes to obviously her grandmother's house which is in the middle of nowhere, yeah in a crumbling Cornish house in the middle of nowhere and her siblings turn up and her mum and like all family members are gathering in this one place um for her grandmother's birthday and you can tell right from the off go that nobody really likes each other it's one of those families it's a very dysfunctional family everyone has had arguments and secrets between each other and nobody's getting on and nobody really wants to be there they just they've just all gone because they want to please their grandmother and also the grandmother's rich so they're looking for inheritance so there's kind of like a little bit of bitterness and rivalry between everybody who's there um which is very interesting and the characters are all very interesting they're all different they all have different reasons for being there and different reasons for being bitter with each other um and yeah you kind of get to know the characters more and more as the story goes on but as the story goes on, I was more and more surprised. So originally I thought it was going to be like a haunted house thing and it wasn't. It turned out to be something completely different. People start turning up dead. But because they're on this isolated location and the only way you can get to the house is via a boat. Um, or you have to wait till obviously the um, the tide to go out and then you can walk across the, walk across the sand. Um, otherwise you're just trapped. And they all came before the tide was high so they all got there and nobody has a boat so they can't just leave so they're, you're literally trapped in this house and people are going missing people are going dead people are having arguments and you're really confused about what the hell is going on um and 
yeah, you know it's somebody in the house who is doing this or is creating this chaos within the family, um, but you don't know who and you don't know why. Because like I said, everybody's arguing, everyone has different motives for being shits to each other, but you don't know who's doing it and what their end goal is for doing it. And I didn't really figure it out till the very, very end, what was actually happening. And when I did find out, I was like, okay, I actually wasn't expecting that. Um, that was actually really interesting. And right up until the very end, I was like, okay, this is actually a surprisingly good book. Like, I knew it was going to be interesting because lots of people were into it. I just didn't think it was going to be as good as it was basically. I basically went in with kind of like mid expectations and yeah the book kind of ended on a high and I was like okay I really wasn't expecting that. That was actually really good. So yeah if you're into I would say mystery books um like mystery creepy books set in again small locations, creepy houses, isolated conditions, a book that is very heavily um very heavily character based so like you're you really have to um get to know each character and like i said you're trying to figure out the motives and what's actually happening and who's doing all this um so yeah you really get into each character and i feel like the character development's pretty good throughout pretty solid throughout this entire book um and it does all wrap up you do kind of get that moment of like oh okay that's why that and this and that you know that kind of thing um but yeah so overall it was pretty good it would probably be a four possibly five star read for me um it was one of those books where i read it and i was like oh i have to give this to my dad to read and then my dad came round for my son's birthday party and he spotted it on my kitchen side because i'd left it out because i was going to give it to him to read and he was like oh daisy darker you read that too and i was like oh you've already read it and he was like yeah i picked it up a couple days ago and i really liked it what did you think and then we had a little discussion about it and yeah i really i really enjoyed it i don't know why i was so pessimistic about it from the beginning you know obviously people liked it because it was posted all over instagram and that's where i picked it up um but yeah i think i was just thrown by the cover i don't really feel like the front cover fits the theme of this book and once you read it you might understand what i mean and i don't want to say any more than that because i don't want to give spoilers away um because I feel like it's a book you need to go into just enjoying it, just read it for what it is and just enjoy the writing and just go along for the ride because like I said that's what I did and I ended up really enjoying it. So yeah I would highly recommend Daisy Darker, it was a super interesting read and actually would be a pretty good book to read around Halloween time if you just ignore the fact that it's like bright yellow and has a daisy on the front cover. <laughs> they should have made it more creepy I feel like, they should have been a creepier vibe um yeah don't judge a book like it's cover by its cover like i did and go for it because yeah it would be pretty good halloween read actually it was pretty spooky and um, it had that creepy kind of feels and that intense of like oh what's gonna happen next kind of feels so yeah that's my review let me know your comments down below have you seen this book floating around on your instagram um let me know your thoughts. Are you interested in reading it or have you read it yet? And what did you think? Um, yeah, if you would like to see what I pick up, because I often post pictures of books that I pick up more regularly on my Instagram, then my Instagram is the exact same name as my YouTube channel. It's Rosie um, Reviews Books. And I post pictures of books and review books on there. <laughs> So yeah, um, check me out if you like the sound of that and let me know if you have a Instagram that has, um, where you post book content on as well because I like finding new people. So yeah, that's everything that I have to say. As always, thank you for watching and until next time, bye guys.